Oh, welcome back, everybody, to another edition of 2K23 Universe Mode. We are on the road to Survivor Series. It's going to be a hell of a show, and I say that with no matches announced, but hey, that's what I do around here. Obviously, with the geek, another episode of Universe Mode coming to you. We have SmackDown. This is uh, episode 17, I think, 17, going at you. And we have the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, starting off the show in one-on-one -on -one action here in our first featured matchup here tonight. It's going to be... An exciting one. Hope you guys are ready for it. We have a hell of a show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And as you saw on that name card, Cody Rhodes is 2-0 here in our universe mode here on SmackDown. So he is, I, I think we saw it on the, uh, the the kind of rankings page we saw last week that he is at the top of the food chain when it comes to the number one contenders. And uh, I mean, Roman Reigns might be looking for some new contenders here on SmackDown after defeating Tyler Bate at SummerSlam. But we'll have to wait and see in these next few weeks. There are six weeks in between our pay-per-views here in our universe mode to give a proper build and proper story and whatnot so and not just just throw random matches together like i did in the past like other people do you know so and here comes his opponent that man is scott hall and his opponent from miami florida weighing in at 280 pounds scott hall so like I was saying, we are uh, two weeks uh, removed from SummerSlam, and we have four more weeks to go before we we reach Survivor Series. And what? Who knows what that you know what that show entails? We don't know if it's going to be regular, if it's going to be War Games, is it going to be you know Raw versus SmackDown? Who knows what's going to be? And we have no idea, no no clue what the uh, the the uh, the show entails. We're going to find out in. I'm sure a couple of weeks, but right now we have a huge matchup to start off SmackDown. It's going to be Scott Hall going one on one with Cody Rhodes. Going to be a hell of a match. Let's get it started here on SmackDown. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the frequent episodes. Looking for I'm looking for about one one per week. Uh, the, the the plan is to try to get to to maybe Survivor Series to finish off 2K23 and then. Maybe try to seamlessly go into uh, 2K24 with uh, with uh, just after Survivor Series, going into you know you know the Royal Rumble, maybe a show in between that. Oh, nice clothesline there by Scott Hall. But we'll get to that one. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Nevertheless, Scott Hall has Cody Rhodes on the mat here. Oh, just working over the limbs, doing some limb work. Now just oh, just scratching at the face. Of Rhodes, oh, just raking at the eyes and the nose. And that picks up the American Nightmare, got him up flawlessly into the following. No counter by Rhodes. You gotta think Rhodes. You know he he wants that opportunity to become world champion here on SmackDown to do the one thing he couldn't do in his last run here. And that is win World Championship Gold. Nice crossbody there to the outside. And Scott Hall had no answer for that maneuver. Now, oh, Rhodes, oh, a little bit of Stardust action. As the match spills to the outside, another crashing of the Scott Hall's head on the outside. Now look at this. Oh, going with the curtain call or the final cut, whatever you want to call it. Now he's gone up and just, oh, right against the barricade. I think it was uh, Scott Hall's right foot that got caught on the top of that barricade. And nevertheless, no love lost between these two competitors. They want to be at the top of the food chain. Cody Rhodes 
already there and wants to preserve that spot to be the next number one contender for the world championship. And now Hall got him against the ropes and hit him with a stun gun. Going for a quick cover here is Scott Hall. One no. And just a one count for the bad guy. Trying to find his footing here on SmackDown. Ooh! And a shot right to the midsection of Rhodes. And now, oh, just slap to the top of the head. Just playing around with his food. Now into the corner goes Rhodes. And a big time clothesline. And Rhodes just crumbles. And now Cody with a right Irish whip now. And into a power slam. We know that power slam usually from his brother and his mentor. And there's a reverse DT sending down Scott. Now back to his feet though. He can never keep Scott Hall down for long. Ooh. Because he is so massive. He is not, he's you know, you underestimate his size, Scott Hall. You think maybe he's the size of a Shawn Michaels or maybe even Cody Rhodes, but he is tall. And he is big. And right now, he's on the mat and just Rhodes just several, several punches right to the bridge of the nose. But no, just a one count. And Cody picking up Hall. Oh, got him. Looks like for a Verta Breaker. And goes for the cover. One, two, no. And Hall just getting the shoulder up. And Cody now waiting for him to get back to his feet here. Oh, we've seen this before. Crossroads. Crossroads from Cody Rhodes. And that will be it for the first matchup here tonight. Cody Rhodes is your winner. Here is your winner. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes upping his stock here on SmackDown with a win over Scott Hall. He is now 3-0 here in our universe mode. And to, oh, what is Well, that's the wise man who, who manages the bloodline and more importantly, the world champion, Roman Reigns. And he's out here to talk to Cody Rhodes. What an offer from the wise man, from the bloodline. Will Cody Rhodes accept? Oh my, Cody Rhodes not backing down. He is coming for that World Heavyweight Championship. And, oh, on the stage. Oh, we see the bloodline. Jimmy and Jey Uso, Solo Sokoa. And it's going to be a hell of a road for Cody Rhodes to get to that World 
Heavyweight Championship. Well, here we go. Second feature matchup here tonight. It is singles women's action here tonight. And here comes Piper Niven. No longer do drop. It's Piper Niven. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Ayrshire, Scotland. The Superstar. Yep, the Superstar. And we're going to have to deal with that for maybe a few more times before we move over to 2K24. But nevertheless, Piper Niven coming down to the ring to face off against the new women's money in the bank holder. It is the baddest woman on the planet. It's going to be Rhea. Nope, not Rhea. Ronda Rousey. And speaking of Rhea, we're just one uh, week away from Rhea Ripley defending her newly won SmackDown Women's World Championship against Shayna Baszler in the main event next week. That's going to be a hell of a show. And here comes the Women's Money in the Bank holder. La 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 la. I forgot and about the song. From Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Well, speaking of Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler, next week is going to be. Uh, a hell of a show, but they're gonna have to, you know, keep an eye in the back of their head. We have a need to have a third eye because uh, Ronda Rousey has that briefcase, has that contract, has an opportunity to cash in anytime she wants. So if she wants to cash in next week, it could either be after, it could be before, it could be during the matchup. But Ronda Rousey can cash in and become a new SmackDown Women's World Champion. She could be inserted into that matchup. You hear this crowd unites very much behind Ronda Rousey. Nevertheless, here we go. Bell has rung. And Ronda Rousey has an undefeated record here on SmackDown. She looks to continue that against a very, very formidable, formidable opponent in Piper Niven. I'm a fan of Piper Niven personally. And uh, the fact that she is 0-2 in a universe mode is a little... It's a, it's a, I'm, 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 Nothing, nothing I'm proud of, you know. I think she can do a lot better here in universe mode here on SmackDown. Maybe the maybe the name of Piper Niven and maybe dropping Dewdrop, no pun intended, will maybe let a fire under her. Maybe, you know, this new uh, going back to the persona of Piper Niven, going back to her name, will kind of make her more of a serious, you know, competitor here on SmackDown. But look at the power of Rousey! When the Samoan drop takes down Piper, but no. And I think having another serious competitor for that championship in Piper Niven, maybe she'll get a few wins here and there. Oh my god, what a knee! Oh my lord! And Niven just crumbles to the ground, and now Rousey going up to the top. And she's gonna go for a huge splash! And all the weight coming down on Piper. That may have done more damage to uh, Rousey than it did Piper, but nevertheless, they've been now just pushing off Rousey. It's been pretty much all Rousey to start off the matchup, but look at this. The power of Niven with a power bomb. 
And sends down Miss Money in the bank. And Niven. Now Lewis, what is this? Got her up for a torture rack? And now, oh yes, it is a torture rack. And the power of Niven on display. But look at this. Rousey with a few shots to the head. And I'm gonna average trip her off the ropes here. He'll drop down. He'll drop down again. I'm looking for an arm drag. No counter by Niven with a stiff forearm shot. Look at that short arm clothesline. And down goes Rousey. And now, oof. Just stiff knee right to the back of the head. Ooh, nice rolling clothesline from Rousey, though. And, well, I mean, this is a very, very different from the beginning of the matchup. These, these people are actually booing Ronda Rousey. I think mostly booing Ronda Rousey. And what a move by Rousey, though. They were chanting her name just before the matchup. And then Rousey does not care. She can go off the ropes with a flying forearm. To the, to the ground, to the, the outside, onto Niven. But Niven with a stiff kick right to the side of the face. And now just putting me on the face. We'll get to a few matches later on tonight. No, I'm darn. Kofi Kingston defeated a, a team that I, I can't remember now. But nevertheless, Solis the Code defeated Luke Gallows. Carmella defeated Indy Hartwell. Finn Balor got a singles win over T-Bar slash Dominic Dijakovic. Apollo Crews and Otis got, finally got the first win in tag team action against uh, Hit Row and Mansoir defeated Shane McMahon. And we're going to get to that match in just a little bit. There were some shenanigans that happened after. But nevertheless, Rousey throws Niven out, but Niven came back to her feet. She's going she to taunt Rousey. A taunt to the crowd as well, but let's get, gets back into the ring. And oh, just Rousey cranks the arm, sends Niven to the ground, and once again, with another forearm. But ooh, nice. Agility there by Niven goes back inside the ring. Now Rousey. Oh. Using the MMA skills to good use here. Oh, looking for a high knee, but misses that. She's going to follow up, though. No wasted movement here. So, with a kick. You see, oh, she can, she can go her own stun gun. We saw it in the last match, and there's a stun gun from Rousey. And this crowd is now going back to cheering for Rousey. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Nevertheless, oh, shot to the midsection from Niven, and now trying to get back into this match here. Our strip off the ropes goes Rousey, and oh, nice hip toss. There's the power on display, and there's a headbutt. And Rousey back to her feet, hits a jawbreaker. Now back into this match for the takedown. And that is not easy. Piper Niven is not a small one. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe looking for a little bit of Piper's pit. Sends her down. And Ronda Rousey, this could be it for Piper Niven. And it is. Rousey continues to be undefeated here on SmackDown. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on Ronda Rousey picks up another win in her tirade here. And nevertheless, we're going to the earlier match. Mansoir defeated and won the singles matchup. But nevertheless, the new tag team champions, the succession, would attack the former champions in the Miz and Mansoor. And just these two guys just wanted to beat up and just maim their opponents. But nevertheless, next week, we're going to have a huge six-man tag team match. It's going to be Seth Rollins teaming up with the succession against Booker T and Miz and Mansoir. And we saw what happened last week with Seth and Booker T, so that's going to be added to that match. Nevertheless, next week as well is the huge main event for the SmackDown Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler. Well, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event here on SmackDown. And that is an open challenge, a non-title open challenge from the Intercontinental Champion. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Santos Escobar. You can see the aura that Santos just gives off as your Intercontinental Champion. He knows his chip on his shoulder to prove that he is the best champion here on SmackDown. I mean, against Roman Reigns, it's a huge, huge obstacle, but you know, he has done a hell of a job defending that championship. He's been a hell of a champion. He's been a hell of a competitor, showing off why he is that champion. And tonight, he doesn't even know who he's gonna face. He put out a challenge to anyone in the back in the arena. And anybody can come out in this match and face him. Who is going to accept the Intercontinental Champions Challenge here tonight? Oh my god! It is Bray Wyatt making his debut here tonight and answering the challenge from Santos Escobar. Bray Wyatt making his debut. If you know if you if you've been around on my channel long enough, you know I am a huge fan of Bray Wyatt. This is big news here on SmackDown. The former WWE, former Universal Champion. This is huge for SmackDown. We have another huge player, another main event talent, main event star in the name of Bray Wyatt. Absolutely unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, we didn't know who was gonna face Escobar, but I don't think nobody, I don't think anybody thought it was gonna be Bray Wyatt. But nevertheless, here he is, and this match is gonna be underway as Escobar and Bray Wyatt go one on one here in the main event of SmackDown. And what do, you, what do you think is going through Escobar's mind? I mean, you know he was probably expecting a big name to challenge him for that, or for at least the non-title match here tonight. Oh, that's Luthez Press. But I, I mean, this was Escobar's doing. He knew that he was, he was pretty much gonna go into this match blind. He had no time to prepare against someone he didn't know he was gonna face, but yeah, Bray Wyatt though, uh, I am a happy, happy man that Bray Wyatt is now a featured superstar here on SmackDown. 
You should think about the names that are going to be in the title picture soon enough. You think Cody Rhodes. You've got to think, you know, Bray Wyatt, Tyler Bates. Unbelievable here as Bray Wyatt going up to the top. And he's waiting for Escobar to get back to his feet here. And we see, oh, there's an elbow right to the top of the head. Going for a quick cover is Bray Wyatt. Oh, the eater of worlds. New face of fear that is Bray Wyatt. And go for a big suplex is Escobar. And that, I mean, he's going to do a lot more to put away Bray Wyatt. He's going to go for that... That Boston Crab here. And he's going to maybe try to make Bray Wyatt tap in this matchup, but he, uh, Bray Wyatt's too strong for that. Oh, going for that throat chop. Oh, nice spine buster. Taking down Wyatt here. And now Escobar, he's going to fly off the top into a cross, but he no counter by White into a drop kick to the top of the back. And now another spine buster to the outside. Or not to the outside, on the outside. Now he's gonna clean up some uh, some furniture here. And oh my god, what a DDT on the outside. Just planting Escobar's head and face into that fin padding on the outside. And both Wyatt and Escobar now going to go back inside the ring here. And now, what a... Oh, just a throw. Just a nonchalant throw from Wyatt. But Wyatt... Oh, gets caught with a German suplex. But he is almost back to his feet. He is back to his feet. Another Boston Crab from Escobar. And he's got him over. And the more this match goes on, the more that's going to be more effective. And you could probably say that about any move. But nevertheless, Wyatt using that superior strength here. And look at this. Into a clothesline and just folds Escobar in half. Escobar. Oh, counter there. Now into a snap suplex. And now just, oh, the shots, the, the boots. The boots going into... Oh, what is this? Oh, that's, that's Ricochet's music. Ricochet, well, where is he? Back inside the ring, Sister Abigail. And oh my God, is this going to be it? Two, three. Escobar has been defeated here in this to matchup tonight. And Escobar... Here's your winner, Bray. With that win by Wyatt, Escobar is no longer undefeated here on SmackDown. Well, what a debut for Wyatt getting his first win here on SmackDown over the Intercontinental Champion. Well, guys, that'll be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Whew, it's been a hell of a show. Cannot wait for next week. And I'll see you on Monday Night Raw.